Okay guys, a pretty cool video here for you today. It's a new feature in Betaflight 3.2 on, I think I have RC5 on here. Might be on some of the older RC versions, but I'm using RC5. This is a, this is actually my uh, Yushin Wizard X220S rebuild. I'll talk about that in a separate video, but the flight controller I have in here, I think this is the Omnibus F4 SD with the SD card, and the non-pro version doesn't have the um, current sensor. And I have the camera control feature working on this where I can control the um, camera settings on this HS1179 using my transmitter. And you can see here the camera is on and it's pointing to the screen right here. And I'm going to block the screen here a little bit. I can show you, you can bring up the uh, camera settings menu by basically going mid throttle, yaw to the right. And then you can see the uh, camera settings actually come up here on your on your screen without using the joystick. Uh, so in order to move around in here, you have to have mid have to be in mid throttle, and then you use the aileron to move up and down. And then here you can select by moving right and left. And then I'll uh, go ahead and exit. I I have all my settings the way I like. Oh, and then to exit, you yaw to the right, and that turns off the screen, or turns off the camera settings. So to get this to work, it's actually um, fairly straightforward. Let me just show you how I did the wiring. Basically, on the HS1177 and 1179, there's four pins that come out of here, and uh, the OSD pin, this is the fourth one, I have it going to the uh, LED strip input, and I have that LED strip disabled on this. So if you're using an LED strip, uh, it's not going to work. You have to use a, like a motor output or something like that. But for this example, you can use the LED strip. And then I, what I did is I went to um, Betaflight Configurator into the CLI commands, and I remapped that resource for LED strip to uh, camera control. And I've heard somewhere that you don't need a resistor for certain configurations. However, for this camera, I needed to add a resistor. And because the uh, the resistor value varies from model to model, it, uh, supposedly the range is from 200 to 600 ohms, I went ahead and I just bought a whole bunch of resistors here. This is a, one of these 15 value resistor packs, and they come in all these different values. And each little bag here comes with 25 resistors, and so, uh, I, you know, I wasn't sure which one I was going to need. If it was some people, were, some people were using none. Some people were using 220. Some people were using 470. I tried 330, and that worked. Oh, and I'll put a link to this in the description. I got this from Amazon. It was like eight dollars. It's pretty cheap. Um, so I used a 330 ohm resistor and put it in line with the uh, OSD cable to the LED strip pin. I didn't use the ground. Ground's not necessary. And then I used those commands. Uh, to, re to remap that resource in the CLI. Basically, you have to free up the LED strip so you add your resource, um, LED strip none, and that frees up that resource, and then, then you do um, resource camera control, and then whatever the resource that LED strip was using on your board. And then, you, of course, you save, and then basically that remaps the camera control to that pin so that you can control the OSD on your camera. So I'm not sure um, if um, what the values are for the resistor for, say, like the Swift 2, the MicroSwift, or the Monster, etc. I would suggest getting this large pack here and just trying some different ones. I know that, for example, I've seen someone with an Eagle 2 do this without a resistor, so, so you may not need one. But I tried I tried this without a resistor, it didn't work. I also tried a MicroSwift without a resistor, and it didn't work as well. So. Uh, you're going to have to sort of experiment with your board and your um, camera to see which one also works. There's also a setting in there called camera key control delay or something like that. I'll put that up on the screen here. You might have to change that. I didn't change this on, on my particular setting. It has to do with uh, how long the button presses are, are going to be before it registers on the camera. So the flight controller can send a certain key press or signal for a certain amount of time. 
Uh, it, the def defaults to 180, and I left it at that, and that worked for me. So, but if it doesn't work for you, then you might have to play with that too. Anyway, guys, so that's just a quick little you know guide on how to get this set up. It's actually pretty simple. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.